Let's learn on Inkscape. On any browser, we can type inkscape.org and we are going to be sent to the official Inkscape web page. There is the tab Download, where we are going to find the option to download the current version. We can install it on Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. For Windows, we have the option 32, 64 bits, but I prefer go to the Windows App Store to download directly. On the App Store, I am going to write Inkscape, find the app, and install it. After I tap on the option Install, I am going to see a lot of different things I can use Inkscape for. Once Inkscape is installed, I am going to find on the apps on my computer Inkscape and I am going to open it. Inkscape is similar to any other drawing software with a lot of different tabs and options to make the drawing. I am going to select the grid in here and I am going to add some figures for you to see how you can change them. In this case, this is a geometrical shape with five corners, but I can give more or less corners. When you select a figure, you are going to see some dots, and when you select those, you are going to see how your shape changes in different ways. This is something really useful if you want to make tessellation. Like in other drawing apps, you can copy and paste, change the color, but the only important here is that you remember that you need to select the shape you want to modify. This is the option for you to select. When you select, you can move it around, change the color, or make a Pac-Man like I am going to do it now. You have options to write, and, like in this case, give the signature for your model. A really important feature that you can find on this app is that it has the option to use different layers. In this case, you notice that all these drawings are on the layer 1. A layer is similar to a paper. If you include another paper, you can make more drawings over or below this drawing. Here, you notice I move one, two, three, and four in total. And when I add another layer, I make a different shape. And that shape can be moved and modified without affect the other three. It's important you to remember if you are selecting layer one or layer two. Using the dropper, you can use exactly the same color that other figure has on your sheet. And with this option, you are going to be able to modify how the shadow affects your drawing in this way. When you finish, you can save or export your design like in any other software.